Next, let us discuss the accounting entries with respect to goodwill <coughs> under the different situations. The valuation and the need for valuation of goodwill normally arises whenever there is a change in the profit sharing ratio, which may be because we have changed the profit sharing ratio. It may be because of the admission of a partner, the retirement of a partner or the death of a partner. So accounting entries at the time of admission, at the time of retirement or in case of change in the profit sharing ratio. Normally, accounting entries are simple, are logical. What they do is, whenever the profit sharing ratio changes, either because we are reconstituting the profit sharing ratio or because of retirement or because of admission, when the profit sharing ratio changes, there is some partner who stands to gain and some partner who stands to lose. The partner who stands to lose will lose his share in the future profits and therefore he is being compensated today. So the normal method of doing this is to credit credit the partner who is going to lose out in future. So we credit the sacrificing partner. We credit usually, if we keep this in mind, it becomes easier. We credit the sacrificing partner and we debit the gaining partner. What should be the ratios? What should be the amount? We will consider depending on the situation. But just remember that usually the gaining partner, whoever is going to gain in future, gaining partner's capital account is going to be debited because he will compensate the sacrificing partner who has lost a share in the future profits. The sacrificing partner's account will be credited. Gaining partner's capital account should be debited. Let us see what the entries would be under each of these situations. On admission, gaining partner's account is debited with his share of goodwill. With what? His share of goodwill. Gaining partner's account is debited. On admission, a new partner comes in for one third share. So if the goodwill is assumed to be 3 lakh, one third of 3 lakh, 1 lakh is the gaining partner's share. Two, sacrificing partner's capital accounts. But in what ratio? In the sacrificing ratio. In the sacrificing ratio. That means if A has sacrificed 1 by 8, B has sacrificed 1 by 4, the ratio of 1 by 8 is to 1 by 4 or 1 is to 2. This would be the ratio in which the gaining partner's share of goodwill will be credited to the sacrificing partner's capital accounts. Gaining partner's capital account debit with his share of goodwill but the sacrificing partner's capital accounts will be credited with in the, in the sacrificing ratio. Let's take an example A and B are equal partners and they admit C for one-fifth share. Assuming that the value of goodwill is 5 lakh and no goodwill appears in the books, what would be the entry for adjustment of goodwill? Mind you, these goodwill entries on admission, we shall discuss in detail when we discuss admission again. These Compensation is paid when the value of goodwill, the entire value of goodwill is not reflected in the balance sheet of the partnership. <clears throat> Assuming that it is not there, we shall pass these entries. Value of goodwill is 5 lakh. C is admitted for one fifth share. Therefore, C's share of goodwill is 1 lakh. Now, A and B are equal partners. They have not mentioned 
what is the new ratio. But we have already discussed if nothing is mentioned, A and B will continue to share the profits in the same ratio as they did before C was admitted. So they continue to be equal partners. Since they were equal partners before, they are equal partners now. Their sacrifice ratio will also be equal. <clears throat> Therefore, when they admit C for one thing, the entry will be C's capital account debit. Why is C being debited? Because he will gain in future. He has got one fifth share. So it would be C's capital account debit 1 lakh 2. A has made a sacrifice, B has made a sacrifice and this sacrifice is equal. Therefore, this would be the accounting entry for adjustment of the goodwill on admission of a partner. On retirement, on retirement or death of a partner, what happens here is one partner leaves and the remaining partners stand to gain. So it's the leaving partner who is actually making the sacrifice. So in such a case, the leaving partner, the retiring partner's account would be credited with what? With his share of goodwill and the gaining partners, that is the remaining partners in the firm, their accounts would be debited. Again, in what ratio they have gained? It would be in the gaining ratio. So let's do that once more. On retirement or death of a partner, what happens? The retiring partner, the, the partner who is leaving the partnership firm, he is, he, he is making a sacrifice. So retiring partner's capital account is credited with his share in the goodwill and the remaining partner's accounts are debited. But in what ratio? In the gaining ratio. In the gaining ratio. So let us see. Gaining partner's account debit in the gaining ratio to retiring partner's capital account with his share in the goodwill. A, B and C share profits in the ratio 4 is to 3 is to 2 and A retires. Assuming that goodwill is 4 lakh 50,000 and does not appear in the books, what would be the entry for goodwill adjustment on a retirement? So 4 is to 3 is to 2. So what is A's share? A's share is 4, oh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 4 by 9. <clears throat> Goodwill, 4,50,000. Therefore, the amount of goodwill would be 2 lakh. Amount of goodwill would be 2 lakh. <clears throat> Next. If A retires, B and C continue in their ratio between themselves. If their old ratio and new ratio between themselves is the same, then the amount of gain, the gaining ratio will also be the same. 3 is to 2. Therefore, gaining partners are A's capital account would be debited. B's capital account would be debited. 2A is 2 lakh, 2 lakh, 3 fifth of 2 lakh is equal to 1 lakh 20,000 and 2 fifth of 2 lakh is equal to 80,000. So A's capital account would be debited with 1 lakh 20,000 and B's capital account would be debited with 80,000. This would be the accounting entry. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is not A. A has retired. This would be B's capital account and C's capital account. B's capital account and C's capital account. A retires. A retires. A is making the sacrifice. A's account is debited with his share of goodwill, which is nothing but 4 by 9 of 4,50. Next, B's capital account and C's capital account are the remaining partners. Their capital accounts are debited 
in the in their gaining ratio which happens to be 3 is to 2. Accounting entries on change of profit sharing ratio. Again, same principle. Gaining partner's account would be debited with his share of gain in goodwill. Sacrificing partner's capital account would be credited with their share of sacrifice in goodwill. A, B and C share profits in the ratio 5 is to 3 is to 2. From 1st April, they become equal partners. Assuming that the goodwill amounted to 5 lakh, what would be the accounting entry? So, A, B and C. Let us see. A, what was the ratio? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This was 5 by 10. B was 3 by 10. And C was 2 by 10. This is old ratio. What is the new ratio? The new ratio has become, they are all equal, so they have become 1 by 3, 1 by 3 and 1 by 10. So let us subtract old ratio minus new ratio. If it is positive, it is a sacrificing ratio. If it is negative, it is a gaining ratio. Okay. So 5 by 10 minus 1 by 3, I get 30. 15 minus 10. So this is a sacrificing ratio. Then I get, let me write this as 5 by 30. Okay. Next 3 by 10 minus 1 by 3. What do I get? Again I take 30 and I get 9 minus 10. That is equal to 1 by 10. 2 by 10 minus 1 by 3, if I take a denominator as 30, I get 6 minus 10. That is equal to 4 by 30. But these are minuses, these are gains. A makes the sacrifice. So gaining partner's capital account, the entry should be B's capital account debit with how much? 1 by 30 of 5 lakh. 1 by 30 of 5 lakh. C's capital debit with how much? 4 by 30 of 5 lakh. To A's capital would be 5 by 30 of 5 lakh. So how much is this? 1 by 30 of 5 lakh. So B's capital account would be debited by 5 lakh divided by 5 lakh into 1 by 30. 5 lakh into 1 by 30. So 5 lakh into 1 by 30 gives you 16,667. C account debit into 4 by 30, 66,600 to A's capital account <coughs> would be into 5 by 30 that is 83,334. <coughs> So B's capital debited with 1 by 30 of goodwill, C's capital account debited by 4 by 30 of goodwill and A's capital credited with 5 by 30 of good, 5 by 30 of good. <coughs> this would be the adjusting entry for goodwill in case of change of a profit sharing ratio.